Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TN Art. Today I am really excited about this project because it was in my mind but I couldn't find time to make it. So let's make it today. So I have a box of Pringles and it's all been emptied and eaten up. So I will be making the candles in this box and it's it will act as a mold and this is a toilet paper cardboard. So I have taken these two molds so it's really totally a DIY project. And now what I'm doing here is I am cutting the Pringles with my X-Acto knife as according to the size I need. This is such a fun mold that on one end it's closed and on the second end there is a lid on it. So really no hassle in packing or you know if it gets flowed or something happens no accident will happen. So these are really safe. So let's start with adding I have seen this or all over the internet they make it with cement I thought why not give it a try with the jasmonite and so today I took the courage and I'm making it so this is really a fun and easy project there is no really any measurement to the jasmonite here it's really up to you how big you want the jasmonite part to be or how, how small you want it to be so I'm just mixing the amount I need and I will be making the base in black color so I'm adding the black jasmineite color here. So I'm adding the jasmineite layer. It, this will be done in layers. I just added the first layer and I will leave it to cure. And what I'm do, done here is that I just moved it a bit slightly on to one side just to give the effects and now I will be adding more jasmineite into the container so when my jasmineite got a bit bit on the thicker side I added the crystals to the to one side avoiding it to get dip into the jasmineite so this was a bit of a process i thought it's easy but it did took me some time so in the end i knew that when the jasmineite will get thick i will add stuff so that it won't get stuck or uh, sink into the jasmineite so here i'm adding this uh, fire glass i added some quartz crystal first Again, this is up to you. You want how much crystal you want to add to this layer. So now it's totally all cured. And what I'm doing here is I am adding the jasmineite to cover it all. And into the second one. So after 30 minutes, my jasmineite is cold, all cured up. And now it's time to add the wicks. So just cut it up according to the size you need. And this is, I will be repurposing my old candles. I will just melt these candles and we'll come back. So here my candle is all melted up. And I will be now carefully adding this into the mold. And with the help of, help of a stick, I just centered my wick. And now we let it to cure. So it's all been cured up and let's demold. It's really a fun project for creating a beautiful decor piece for your home and adding crystals to my, your creation already make them so beautiful and magical. So 
so this is how these turned out and i am really excited to see the part where the crystals are i am really demolding them first and then i will be seeing how to set up all so this is the piece where the crystals are peaking and the one that we put into the candles you can already leave it like this and just add a bit of gold uh, gold foil or gold marker anything you like but i will be taking it to the next step as you know that i want to so what i'm doing here is i adding some glue and this is my epoxy sculpt clay and now what i'm doing here is i am adding the pirate crystals And I will be arranging them according to what I like and how do how I want them to look. This is again really up to you how much you want to take it further or just leave it like this. What I'm doing with it, I am showing you here. So enjoy the process.
and the final step is here i am using the stone and concrete wax here just to buff it all up first i will be applying it with my hands and then i will be rubbing it with a soft cloth just to shine it I am so happy how they turned out. I am really excited and I don't know if I'm going to burn them up or not but still they are beautiful and the crystal whatever you add crystal to it it becomes amazing. So this is how they turned out and I hope you like them and if any candle makers are watching me please do forgive me that it's my first time making candles. I am really not a candle maker here but I will be making them as this was really fun and I will be making more projects in the future. And if you did like this video, please do give me a thumbs up as it really helped me, my channel to grow. And if you didn't subscribe, please do so if you like. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.